Are you looking to install the Flow by Moen Smart Home Water Monitoring System? Maybe you've seen my other video about the unboxing and the overview and you're really interested. You know there's an app involved, you know there's hardware that involved that uh, needs to be installed. How do you do it? I'm going to show you how to do it and I'm going to show you right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. So you're going to need a few things before you get started. You're going to need a smartphone, you're going to need to have Wi-Fi at your installation location, and you're going to need to have hydro nearby. Once you've got that, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is download the Flow by Moen app onto your smartphone. You need to set up that app, and then you need to pair it to your hardware. Okay, so once you've uh, downloaded the app, uh, then you open it up on your phone and uh, then you need to create an, an account so you press create new account you put your email up here and then you put, you create a password and then they're going to ask you to confirm that and then you press next and uh, it's going to ask you just some information about yourself first name last name So typically that would be your cell phone number. And then you can read the terms and conditions if you so choose. Once you agree to it, you check and you go to next. And uh, so they're going to send you an email to verify your account. So they actually want you to verify it from your phone. So you go into your emails. There it is there and you click the big green button and it's going to want to open the page in the app and so it does we're going to allow it to send us notification because that's one of the whole points of uh, having this and uh, and then it's going to give you some more information about how the system works etc you can click uh, learn more to learn more and uh, and they're going to try to sell you some options etc so we're going to go back into the app and close this out. And uh, so we need to start by adding your home and uh, what kind of a home it is. It's a single family home, etc. So mine's a single family home. It's my primary residence. And then we go on to next. And I give your location by a name. I'm just going to call it house. So if you have a cottage or other properties that you want to do, so now we're going to enter the location for the next, and it's going to ask uh, how big the house is, how many bathrooms, and it's going to ask what type of plumbing we have here. Mine's a little bit older house, so it's copper. It's asking if I know where to shut off the uh, water to the house. What is the source of the water? Mine's well water. So we continue on. And uh, it's going to ask what we have in this home. We do have a bathtub. Oops. Do we have a dishwasher? No hot tub. Refrigerator with ice maker, washer, dryer. And we don't have any of this outdoor stuff. It's going to ask if we have a tankless hot water heater. No, expansion tank. Do you have one of those? Whole home filtration system. We do have that. Uh, recirculation reverse osmosis. Yep, we do have that. Come on. And a water softener. How many people live in this location? And uh, there's only two of us at this point. Set water consumption goal. 80 gallons per day, total people uh, 160 gallons a day. Sure, that's a fair goal. Homeowner's insurance. Please let us know who your water utility provider is. Um, we don't have one because we're on well water. Okay, so our location's been added. So we press continue. So we're gonna add a device. Okay, so we've got a three-quarter inch smart 
uh, water shut off. That's what we're adding here today. So we click on that. So we're allowing it to uh, give your uh, smart meter a name. Uh, just going to call it flow by moan. And then it wants to pair it. So it's going to ask us to confirm that we've um, you've firmly pushed the power cord in and we we plug the power into the power supply, which I have, and uh, push to connect to Wi-Fi. <clears throat> so on the unit here, you can see there's a reset button here. So that's what they're referring to. We're going to push that. Press and hold the button until the white light begins to blink, then release the button. Like to access the camera, okay. And uh, so now we put this in front so we can read the QR code. So we press join. It's reading, it's reading the QR code over here. So it's connecting to the device. It says this may take up to a minute. Okay, so now it's asking which uh, internet uh, we're going to connect to. And this is mine here. And I need to enter the password. Connect. So now it's connecting uh, flow to the internet. So pairing is complete, great. So now we go to the dashboard. And uh, so it says flow by mode needs install. So that's what it's waiting for. So we'll go to the installation next. So next you need to decide on a location where you're going to install the hardware. So the hardware needs to be installed in the main water line coming into the home and it needs to be installed before water splits into hot and cold. It needs to be installed before any water treatment equipment that you have. And uh, irrigation system can be installed, uh, come off either before the system or after the system. It's up to you. Um, it'll compensate either way. So in my home, uh, this is the main water line that comes in. We're on well water here. So this is my main shutoff. So the first thing you want to do is once you've chosen location, again, you want to have somewhere that's fairly accessible. This is where the location that we chose here for my installation. It can either be installed vertically like this one or horizontally. It really doesn't make any difference uh, to the hardware. So your first step is to shut off the water. And then you need to open some faucets in the house to drain all the water down and drain as much water out of the plumbing system before you cut any pipes. So let's take a second to talk about fittings. So the fittings you purchase uh, will be dependent on what type of plumbing you have in your home, where you're installing the hardware. So for example, in our case here, we've got three quarter inch copper. Um, so what we're doing is we have this uh, three quarter inch to three quarter inch threaded fitting. So any fitting or that you purchase is going to have to go to three quarter inch male thread because it's going to thread into this fitting that comes with the uh, with the hardware. So uh, as you can see, it threads in like so, right? Okay. So it, it, again, if you've got three quarter inch pecs, then you can get three quarter inch pecs to three quarter inch threaded. Or if you've got half inch pecs, you can go half inch to three quarter inch threaded. You always have to go to three quarter inch threaded. And uh, if you want to go with a quick connect fitting, um, same scenario here. Uh, this is three quarter inch, but you can go to half inch if that's what size your plumbing is. All right, once you've got the fittings for your um, installation, then the next step is going to be to uh, to cut the pipe. So you're going to want to cut, make the first cut in the pipe. You're going to have to put a bucket underneath or something like that to catch the water that flows from it. Once you've made your first cut, you're going to need to determine what distance to make the second cut to allow for the system to be installed. All right, so... Um, it, by the way, I should mention at this point, it does have a flow direction on the unit, so you're going to have to be careful that when you install it, you install it the correct way. In our case, the water flows up, so that's why we end up with ours installed uh, this way, with the arrow going up. All right, so then uh, the next stick, uh, you're going to... So the, the installation kit comes with this uh, little spacer, and when I was first saw it, I wasn't really too sure how useful it would be, but my installer said when he installed this in, in my home, that uh, this was super useful to determine the, the distance. 
and uh, because it was a lot easier to work with this than it was to uh, work with the actual hardware itself. All right, so what you need to do is you need to remove this and then you need to remove the end caps. Once you've removed them, you'll see that there's some O-rings in there. Make sure you don't lose those O-rings, although the system does come with an extra set of O-rings. So we'll take that off. All right, great. When the installation is complete, you're going to end up with this mating up to this spacer. Well, like I say, the actual hardware is going to be here, but this is going to give you the size. And then this cap is going to go on here. And you're going to tighten that down like that. And then this fitting is going to go inside here. So at this point, what you can do is you can kind of hand assemble all this and tighten it. And then from there, obviously you do the same at the other end, then you can determine how long you're going to have to cut your pipe. So because the pipe goes inside here, so you need to make sure that you're measuring from this shoulder here to the same shoulder on the other end, and that'll tell you what distance of pipe you need to remove, and you can go ahead and remove that section of pipe. Once you've got your fittings in place and you've got the correct gap, then uh, what you're going to do is you're going to wrap four or five turns of Teflon tape around the threaded portion and uh, you're going to place this collar up above onto the pipe and then you're going to thread this on here and tighten that up and you're going to do that at both ends. Once it's tight, you're going to make sure that the O-rings are in at both ends whoops, of the hardware, and you're going to also want to make sure that it's orientated in the correct direction, and you're going to know that by the arrow that's on the side here. So once you've got that fitted in, then this is going to slide in, like so. You're going to tighten this up, and uh, they suggest, the flow by Moen suggests that you tighten this up hand tight, and once you've got it hand tight, then you can use a, a pair of uh, pliers or vice grips and to give it another quarter turn to, to, uh, to uh, make it 100% tight. Once you've finished installing the hardware, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna slowly open the water shut off here. And uh, you wanna open it slowly because you're gonna be checking for leaks, just to make sure you have no leaks before you go ahead. Assuming you have no leaks, then you can open up the valve fully and then Plug in the power cord at the top. Now the power cord has a, a bit of a, a rubber grommet. Uh, it seals out water. So the idea is you have to kind of push it in and you have to twist it a little bit and make sure it's 100% seated. So you'll see the lights on top will start flashing, etc. So give them a, you know, 30 seconds or 45 seconds or something like that for them to uh, make sure that they're, that they're fully seated and they're working properly. When they are, you'll see the two lights will turn green. Once they've turned green, you can open up the app on your smartphone and uh, you can check it out. If you want to see how it shuts the water off once you finish the installation, it's simple. Just go in here and you go to this screen and see where it says on the bottom on. Just click that. It's going to ask you to confirm if you want to turn off the water. You do. You click confirm and you can see the motor turning to shut it off. At the top the little light goes red. On the valve, the other, uh, the other light for the status is, it remains green. And then if you want to turn it back on, again, you just click here. It's going to ask you if you want to confirm to turn it on. You do. The valve opens and the light goes green. They're both green on the top. You're good to go. So once you've installed the Flow by Moen home monitoring system, then you can go into your app, open it up, and then you can go across here. And you can see that now it's monitoring the water pressure. It's water uh, monitoring the water temperature. And it'll also monitor the flow. So you can test that out just by running a faucet anywhere in your house and you'll see the water flow coming up here. And that's great. And that gives you lots of information and uh, now your home's uh, being monitored. Now I should mention, it will be in learning mode for the first seven to 10 days. And uh, what that means is your home isn't protected for those seven to 10 days. What it's doing is just learning the pattern of how you use your water. If you have water treatment equipment going uh, during the night or if you have a reverse osmosis, it learns that pattern. So after seven or 10 days, 
uh, during that seven to ten days, it'll give you a message here saying that it's in learning mode. After that, uh, this will come up and it's saying you're secure and uh, you're protected. I should mention at this time too that we offer discount pricing and free shipping on the Flow by Moan smart home water monitoring uh, system and leak detection. You can go to our websites, either watereastore.com or watereastore.ca in Canada. We also have it at our, at our store. And uh, so check it out today. You'll see that um, if you check our un unboxing and overview video, I'll put a link to it at the end of this video and uh, lots more information about what the system can do and uh, how it can help you monitor your home, uh, your home water usage, etc. So you definitely want to check that out. So by now, I'm sure you've learned that this is a great system, not only for your home, but for your cabin, your cottage, rental property. It's a great way to monitor your water usage and protect yourself. Also, insurance companies offer a discount if you have a water detection and leak detection system in your home. So you definitely want to check that out to save some money. To go to that uh, unboxing and overview video that'll show you lots more about what the Flow by Moen can do, just go up here and I'll see you there.